Hello, it's Kevin Silva here with Douglas Elliman. We're doing another neighborhood feature, and today I am with the owner of Party in My Yardy. Hi, thanks for having me. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for being on, Natalie. Now, I was seeing photos of uh, Party in My Yardy, and I gotta ask, like, it's gotta be like the coolest thing to do during COVID now. Oh man, it's really gotten very popular because, you know, especially in the last year, we've all had to figure out ways to celebrate differently and having a big, you know, two foot sign in your front yard to celebrate and see, you know, all your neighbors yelling when they drive by or walk their dogs and, you know, yelling happy anniversary and happy birthday. It's been super popular because, you know, everyone's getting creative now and this is just one more way that we've found a, a way to still bring joy to people. Absolutely. So, so for the, you know, we have a bunch of people on here that don't know what party in my yardy is. Uh, you know, obviously we're talking about the yard. Why don't you educate my viewers? Sure. Absolutely. So we are a customized yard greeting rental service. So we come to your home, we set up our big greeting in your front yard. We can spell out anything. We can do any celebration and then we take it away 24 hours later. So really it's a no brainer for folks because it doesn't require any work. It doesn't require going out and buying decorations. We bring it to you and we take it away. And so we've done all kinds of different events, all kinds of different celebrations. And it really has brought a lot of joy to people in our community when we need it most. Absolutely. How did it come up? Like, how did you start Party in My Yard? Absolutely. So I lost my job you know, in the midst of, of the COVID wave. And I had three kids at home that required, you know, a, a teacher and a coach and all the things that yeah, you can't right. <laughs> later. So I had to get creative and find a way to supplement my income, but still be available for my family and still be available to help the kids with school. So we had to come up with an idea. And, and I thought, you know, of all times, how can we celebrate when the parties are no more, when the in-person gatherings are no more? How can we still bring joy to people in our community? And so this was a great way to do it. And I, I was blessed enough to have a, a good friend that works and, and owns a graphics company. So I called her and I said, hey, this is what I want to do. I want it to look like this. Is this something you can print? She's like, of course. So <laughs> that's the, the idea was born. So it started during COVID and, and um, and I've seen drive-bys, drive-bys, you know, like, uh, you know, drive-by celebrations where, you know, it became a thing, uh, you know, but you don't just celebrate. It was mainly for birthdays. You don't just do birthdays, right? No, we don't. And, you know, it's interesting now that my intention when we started was really to focus on the birthdays, but I realized really quickly that there's so many other celebrations in life that are worth, you know, throwing up a huge yard greeting in your yard. So we've done a ton of baby showers. We've done anniversaries. We've done, you know, 100th birthday celebrations outside yeah. one's nursing home window. Um, we've we've done all kinds of things. We've done welcome home signs. Last week, we had a welcome home sign for somebody that had been in the hospital for several months that was involved in an accident. And so mm -hmm. they're welcome them home in a big way. So no better way than than to have a big yard greeting. Absolutely. Now, these are getting pretty popular. Uh, tell me, how many of these do you do a month? So when I started, I thought this was going to be, you know, kind of a side gig, something to <laughs> just keep me busy. Um, yeah. Times. And, and so my goal in the beginning was let's try to do 20 or 30 signs a month. I think that would be realistic. And now we're doing upwards of 80 a month. So it has gained a lot of popularity, which I'm so thankful for. And, you know, it continues to allow me to buy additional products for different kinds of celebrations, like, you know, like the, the bar mitzvahs and the graduation celebrations and all the things that you, you know, you think birthday, but, but it's allowed me the opportunity to think bigger and what else can we celebrate? Perfect. How does it work? Like, you know, it's, is it, you put it up, you know, right before the party, Do you, you know, is it up for the entire week? Sure, sure. That's a great question. So the thing that I think is super exciting, especially for the kiddos, is that we set it up late at night or early in the morning. So when they wake up the day of the event, it's already set up in their yard. And I love, love, love when parents send me videos of their kids and they, they're running outside and they see their, their name, <laughs> all their favorite things, if they're a soccer player, yeah. basketball 
player or a gamer, you know, all their favorite graphics are included. So um, we try to be, you know, the ninjas that sneak into your yard. Um, <laughs> and, you know, don't let the dog bark at us while we're setting it up in the dark. But it makes for a great, a great surprise. And then we leave it up for 24 hours. If people want it longer, of course, that's an option, but typically 24 hours. And then I come back the next day and take it away. Oh, amazing. So you not only set up, but you take it down. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Super easy. Um, that's concierge service right there. What, <laughs> right. Um, what, I mean, I have viewers all around the country. I take it you don't, you don't travel. Uh, we're here in Los Angeles right now. Which areas do you service? So I service, um, I live in the South Bay. And so I typically service within a 20 mile radius of, of our, you know, home base. Yeah. Um, and I get requests all the time to go places that are a little bit further, but I try to accommodate people as much as possible. And maybe if, you know, we throw in an extra delivery charge to accommodate the extra miles, I, I'm happy to, I try to not say no, let me put it that way. If yeah. it's doable, I'll try to make it happen. <laughs> What, um, what's the furthest you've gone for a party in my yardy? Uh, let's see. I had, um, last week we did a happy retirement greeting in Irvine, which okay. was a trek. Um, and then I've gone as far up to the valley in Burbank and, um, and that kind of area. So like I said, I try to make it work. If it makes sense, then we want to be able to bring joy to the Los Angeles area as much as possible. Okay. Are there franchise opportunities? <laughs> Are you moving in that direction. Hopefully, oh, hey, let's see. in the next ninety days, we're going to have some some opportunities for other folks to you know join our business and do what I'm doing. Holy smokes! It started here. It started exactly. in Los Angeles. Exactly. <laughs> now, uh, let's see. You started during COVID. How do you see this playing out? Let's say you know things do return back to normal. How do you see things playing out? Well, you know, when the in-person gatherings and, it, and we're seeing it more and more starting to happen, um, I think that our business model and what we provide and the joy that we bring to people will stay in place, even though the parties may go back to looking, you know, normal in some yeah. ways, um, because it's a really great photo op too. You know, as much as people are on there, Instagram and social media of different ways. Having this photo opportunity is huge. And especially, you know, when we do schools, the, the kids line up to get next to the welcome back sign or the teacher appreciation sign. And it really makes for a great photo opportunity for the parents. So I think that even when we do return to normal in-person gatherings, I think that Party and Minority will stay as a staple because of the popularity that's gained and how much joy it brings to people. Holy smokes. Uh, I just had some business ideas. All right. Uh, are you allowed to discuss pricing or here? Or is it like everything a custom job? It is a custom job, but I try to keep our pricing between $95 and 130. So depending on, you know, what you want the greeting to say, how much, yeah. how many graphics we include or, um, you know, but I try to keep that price range because, you know, it's not something that that we, we don't have a ton of competition, but from what I've seen in other parts of the country, I want to keep it in line with what other folks are doing, you know? Yeah, yeah, of course. And obviously the bigger the job, you know, you take it, you know, piece by piece. Is this all up on, you know, social media? Can people follow you? Do you have a YouTube channel? What, what are some I ways that people can link up with you? Sure, sure, sure. Great question. So we have our website, partyinmyyardy.com, where folks can go on and request their custom yard greeting. We also are on Instagram at Party in My Yardy South Bay and on Facebook at Party in My Yardy. So um, you can really find us anywhere and uh, and we're really quick to respond and really quick to, to take care of those last minute deals as well. Awesome. Natalie, thank you so much for being on today. I, I think we're going to have to reach out to you for our own, <laughs> our own. I didn't even know. I, I feel like our, I, I, I saw, I saw some of this around. I didn't think it was actually like, um, you know, I thought people just had stuff printed and put out. I didn't realize it was you. You were going around doing all of it. <laughs> One man awesome. show. One man show. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, thank you so much. And uh, we'll be in touch. All right. Thank you. Have Bye. a great day.